Hey guys, welcome to Logical Humor. Today we'll see a practical example of delegates. So suppose this uh, circle, this is the client code provided to us. This is a, a, a class circle uh, that is provided by our client, which is sealed. Uh, so we cannot uh, means uh, inherit it. Suppose that we try to inherit it. Say we provide our own class uh, circle one, and we try to inherit. it from sir see it's not coming and if suppose that it's not by the intelligence is not showing and suppose we still we have suppose we have created and then we try to build it it gives an error because uh, this cannot derive from the sealed type since the class is sealed we cannot uh, derive from it so yeah and also suppose that we ca cannot change it because basically it will be in the metadata from so we we won't be able to see the i mean suppose the yeah so we won't be able to make a change to it in any way and this radius this is also a private field with no public property or anything but there is only a public constructor so that we can uh, set the radius using the constructor only not using a property and we do have a public uh, this calculate function but yeah but it takes a delegate okay so in this case the delegate will will be using because because we cannot change any uh, the code but we can change the code in the way that we can change the logic in the way that we'll write our own logic in a method and then that method will be assigned to this uh, delegate and then we can get so this delegate will take the will pass the see because in the uh, in circle case only this radius is the property right If suppose it was a square, then only the side would be needed to calculate this area or circumference or diagonal or anything. In case of a uh, rectangle, we would be we would be needing a length and breadth both. In case of a triangle, we would be needing the all the sides values. So circle, so we'll just uh, pass this radius, then we can uh, calculate the circumference or area, uh, kind of or diameter, anything using this radius only. so in this uh, delegate that will take uh, any of the code uh, logic will be assigned to this delegate and according to that it can be calculated okay so let's just uh, create the okay keep yeah let's just create the uh, uh, sorry for that yeah the structure let's just create a circle uh, uh, object and then in that uh, yeah, so we have assigned using the const public constructor we have assigned this uh, Uh, value five to the radius, and then we are calling this uh, calculate uh, this public calculate method, and we are passing. So guys, this is the lambda expression. Okay. So in my earlier video, if you see, there are four methods to assign uh, to assign to a, a delegate variable. Okay, to create a delegate variable. One. Uh, so so this time, so this is the easiest that I prefer, that is using lambda expression. so this a represents the it uh, represents the parameter pass in this case it it's going to be of uh, uh, and uh, before that uh, we going to be have to take this uh, delegate this is not an ordinary delegate it is a func delegate uh, predefined and if we go to the definition we can go using after also this this is a delegate okay so this is provided in the this is pre uh, provided to us so see it is written it is from metadata and its logic is not visible to us so it is a delegate which is public so we can use and it uh, the this is the return parameter and this uh, this this is the return object the return type uh, is uh, the result of of this type it will return this is the parameter type that it is going to read and this will take input will be of of type t output will be of type t result and the input parameter is r here and then it will return the t result <coughs> of of type this will be of type t result okay so this it has uh, i think uh, yeah okay so that's it guys yeah so it takes so we have specified that it will take a float okay so our circle can be anything it is right now it is an integer but i think but yeah as you know that from integer to float we can directly uh, convert uh, it can be type casted no implicitly 
no explicit uh, type cast is required in this case and this will return a float value that we have specified here although the uh, yeah so so th so this we have covered now we are passing this so this here this left side of the lambda this uh, this uh, this symbol it represent the parameter that we are passing so the parameter will be this one this uh, we are calling this so we'll be passing the radius and then since uh, we are calculating circumference in this case in a float uh, uh, this uh, type float will will it is 2 pi r right so 2 is this this r is radius a in this case and pi we are getting for this uh, yeah so this is a property i think static property pi of this math class okay because we are using the class name so it is a static property or maybe it might be a field whatever we, we don't need to go into that detail and set, uh, since it resulted in a uh, double value and uh, since the type was uh, means uh, yeah this type was float so we need to implicitly uh, explicitly we need to type cast into float okay guys yeah so this was one thing okay another way to do it would be say we could use uh, anonymous uh, functions also i'll show you anonymous in, in case of anonymous uh, function we can use okay we'll have to use this circumference in this anonymous function so we will be using this delegate keyword okay and well this lambda expression we can remove this and we'll put this inside okay. <coughs> Uh, that's it. Return also we need to specify this. Uh, so delegate it is. Uh, okay, we need, we need to specify the time. Okay, now. So now you see the error has been removed, and let's try to run it. Okay. We are uh, here passing this pi. So 2 pi r will be 5 to the 10, 31. It should be 31.4. Okay, so you see 31.4. And since this is uh, that uh, 3.14 is the approximate value of pi, and here it is more with more precision. <coughs> that is more uh, uh, precise. Yeah. Okay, guys. And uh, this was using anonymous methods. Let's comment it out and uh, see if this would work or not <coughs> this would give the same result or not so this also resulted the same now guys suppose that we have to change our logic again okay if suppose that we had to pass a uh, i mean we had to calculate area so in that case also we'll provide a, let's just say that area we need to calculate and this using this circular calculate uh, only the circle is the object that we have created and the calculate is the public method and again we are going to pass a suppose so we don't need to specify the type a because it implicitly in lambda expression it calculates okay guys yeah so and uh, it uh, return type or return keyword also we don't have to write we'll have to type cast it so it returns a float that's why and that is pi r square so math dot pi a a you guys the circumference does not exist so we have to pass this area and this will run you okay, guys let's see if it yields so that's is uh, 78 let's using the calculator let's see if it is the right so pi will be 3.14 approximate value into 5 pi by 25 so let's see it is 78.5 yeah so this is more pre precise okay guys so we have seen that it works fine we can calculate uh, an area we can calculate a circumference and in the same way we can calculate uh, 
uh, like uh, uh, diameter also okay and other thing if so this is just a basic example guys need not there may be there might be this is there might be a complex code or complex class okay so using this it makes life simpler because this logic doesn't need to be suppose that uh, we get a, an employee class and uh, there is a function that uh, creates that returns a list of, of uh, promoted employees and suppose that uh, our logic to promote our uh, criteria to promote the employee changes from time to time suppose at one time it was uh, you know in during diwali bonus uh, suppose it was that uh, all the employees those who have successfully covered uh, five years that was the criteria some other time it was like all the employees who have successfully got a four and above rating so it changes so we can specify that our logic in uh, yeah we can dynamically pass it uh, to the delegate okay so guys like comment and subscribe i don't need to repeat it thank you guys have a nice day